Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we gather to meditate on the powerful message that the Virgin Mary delivered directly into the hands of Mirjana for her to convey to us, the faithful. These words, infused with wisdom and divine love, shine as a luminous guide on our spiritual journey, offering us hope and the promise of eternal salvation. The Virgin calls us to carefully reflect on the deeper meaning of this message and to share it with others, especially those seeking the path of redemption. It is a call that resonates strongly in an often troubled world like the one we live in, and an invitation to hold firmly onto our beloved Rosary and to conform to the Divine Will. Before hearing it, we ask you to express your participation by clicking the like button on this video, share it as a gift with other believers near you whom you wish to bring light and benefit. But what is the content of the message delivered by the visionary Mirjana? Brothers and sisters, let us keep deep within our hearts the message of the Virgin of Magog, sharing it with fervor and spreading it with the same devotion that characterizes Mirjana's act. May these words serve as a bright beacon on our spiritual journey toward the light and divine truth. May God bless each and every one of us and grant us the strength to share this message of hope with the entire world. The words of the Virgin, communicated through Mirjana, remind us that faith is the key to facing every challenge life presents. She exhorts us to be bearers of light in the darkness, to pray for those who have strayed from the faith, and to prepare ourselves to give an account of our lives before God. During a moving encounter with a group of pilgrims, Mirjana had the opportunity to share an extraordinary experience in the presence of the Holy Mother. With a voice full of emotion, she told the gathered faithful in a circle, I want to share with you a moment that has deeply touched my heart. When the Virgin of Magog approached me, everything around me disappeared. I found myself immersed in a blue sky, as if at that moment, the entire universe had revealed itself before my eyes. The Virgin wore a grey dress, a familiar figure but imbued with a celestial presence. There was no sadness, only a sense of absolute normality, but at the same time infused with divine greatness. In that moment, I perceived a message that resonated urgently and powerfully, as if the very heart of the Virgin spoke directly to mine. Here are the words she spoke with a tone that deeply resonated in all of our souls, Dear children, at this crucial moment, I have never felt the sharp need for your prayers as now. I urge you strongly to hold the rosary firmly in your hands. I pray unceasingly for each one of you, and I look at you with gratitude for the affection and passion with which you respond to my call. Mirjana added with deep conviction, this call from the Virgin has awakened in me a deep certainty and an unequivocal commitment. I have declared with determination, we will do exactly that, Mother. This constant call from the Virgin to always be prepared for any circumstance is like a ray of light that breaks the darkness of uncertainty. It is a powerful reminder that urges us to consider the brevity of life like the delicate blossoming of a flower, and that sooner or later, with the echo of the divine call, we will find ourselves before our beloved God, where we will have to give an account of every moment spent in this period of uncertainty. The voice of the Virgin of Magog becomes even more emphatic in the midst of these spiritual storms. Remember, dear children, that before the Heavenly Father, you will present the book of your existence. Always be ready as spiritual souls endowed with unwavering faith. Prayer and participation in the sacred rite of the Holy Mass become moments of divine connection, in which my Son joins you in an indissoluble bond. The Virgin invites us to embrace her sovereign will, overcoming the temptation to follow fleeting personal desires, reinforcing her call to compassion. Affirm, beloved children of mine, always keep in your minds and in your hearts that you are passing through this earth as pilgrims towards the infinite. Your true dwelling is in the heavenly kingdom, where eternity awaits you with open arms. Therefore, I emphasize the importance of praying unceasingly for those whom my Son has chosen. They are those upon whom he has extended his hands and bestowed unique talents and gifts. Pray, and when you feel you have prayed enough, pray again. Multiply your efforts. Invoke that divine grace descends upon you like a swollen river. Then, in the midst of these spiritual storms, 
We wish to express our sincere thanks to Mir Jana for her courage and for transmitting this important message to us as an authentic witness. It is evident that the Virgin is concerned about the fate of souls, and we, as believers, must respond with a renewed commitment. The shadows of darkness and unrest lengthen over our world, but the call of the Virgin to hold firmly onto the Rosary guides us resolutely in this tumultuous journey. The Virgin exclaims fervently, Darkness, pain, and suffering await you. This is the moment when I need your prayers like never before. Keep the Rosary with faith, for your act of devotion is like a bright beacon that breaks the darkness. It is the spiritual weapon that will overcome any obstacle, a sword of light in the heart of darkness. In these words, we can find the strength to persevere, for they are a vibrant call in our hearts as we pilgrimage toward eternal glory. Our response to the words of the Virgin must be an unconditional commitment to do the will of God. This is our path to light in this period of confusion. May our fervor not diminish but ignite like a burning flame, illuminating the path ahead of us. In the memorable message of the Virgin Mary, dated May 25, 2020, the Holy Virgin offered a detailed account of her concerns, an urgent call amid the challenges humanity faces. And as the darkness deepens, the Virgin Mary urges us not to lower our guard in these dark times lacking peace. With a warm voice, she emphasizes the essential need to pray unceasingly. The request for intercession from the saints is a powerful call to recognize the importance of spiritual connection, to seek the support of those who in the past have witnessed faith and devotion, in the hope of an eternal paradise. The Virgin becomes a guide and companion, promising her protection and loving blessing. Now, we express our sincere thanks to you, dear faithful, for having responded to the call of the Holy Virgin with open hearts and fervent souls. Your response is a beacon of light in this world of uncertainty, a tangible demonstration of the power of faith in action. We want to conclude this sharing moment with a prayer, invoking the grace of God to descend upon each of you. Let us pray that the Virgin Mary intercedes for us before God, our message of faith and love in these difficult times. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, we address this supplication with humble and contrite hearts. In these times of suffering and darkness, we ask you to extend your loving hand upon us. Grant your grace so that we may deeply examine our hearts, recognizing our weaknesses and sins. We ask for forgiveness for every action, thought, or word that has led us astray. Guide us on the path of righteousness and conversion so that we may renew ourselves in your mercy and love. With humility, we beseech you to open the gates of your heavenly kingdom for us, welcoming us into your presence where there is no more pain or suffering, where your love shines eternally. Grant us the grace to live according to your will so that we may deserve to be received in your kingdom and partake in endless joy. Let your love shine eternally in our hearts, illuminating every corner of our lives so that we may partake in endless joy, embracing the peace that only you can give. In this prayer full of faith, we entrust our souls into your hands, dreaming of the day when we will walk with you in eternal light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us direct a prayer to the Virgin Mary asking for her guidance and intercession to illuminate our steps on this journey of faith. Together, we can lift our voices to heaven, imploring her goodness and protection. Holy Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, we come to you with humble and eager hearts. Today, as always, we turn to you for comfort and hope. You who accepted to bear the Savior in your womb, intercede for us before your Son so that we may overcome the challenges that surround us. O Mary, morning star and ray of divine light, guide us on the path of justice and truth. You who know fear and joy, love and suffering, help us understand the profound meaning of the cross we carry. Tender and compassionate Mother, hear our prayers. You who are always close to us in every moment, guide us with your sweetness and maternal love so that we may always feel your presence by our side. And may your prayer lead us to the heart of your Son, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
pray for us and for the whole world. Amen. Let us continue praying together, trusting in the power of the supplications directed to the Virgin Mary. Her maternal intercession will sustain us in moments of trial and lead us to the light of hope. God bless you and protect you always. Amen.